fight started, and then you strain for the guy next to you to finish it. We all keep walking around here saying it feels different, it feels different. Now it's time to be different. And the Owls were different coming out against Michigan State. An interception on the very first play from scrimmage by Bugs Brown. Unfortunately, the Owls couldn't cash in that opportunity. And for the third year in a row on the road at a Big Ted school, lose by six points or less. Welcome to Inside the Owls Borough, presented by Baptist Health, alongside the Haggerty family head football coach Tom Herman. I'm Frank Fort. Coach, you mentioned it after the game. There was a lot of good things in that game, and this team is that close to getting over the hump, and it's just making those two or three extra plays. Yeah, a lot of mixed emotions uh, because we we really felt, I felt, uh, you know, that, that we were good enough at our best. I still feel that, that at our best, uh, we're certainly capable of winning that game, and uh, we, we made a lot of plays in that game. We, we did a lot of things well. I think you know, I told the team I was proud of them because the effort and physicality, we did not get pushed around. We didn't get out athleted. The, the moment wasn't too big. Uh, we just didn't execute. And uh, we made very critical mistakes at, at very inopportune times and, and it cost us. But um, you know, we'll learn from it. And like I said, there's, there's a lot of good you can take from last Friday night. Coach Herman's interview this week brought to you by Phil Smith Acura. Cam Fancher certainly showed his mettle and his toughness in the game. He had 25 carries. Now, some of those were sacks, obviously. He took a lot of hard hits, one of which resulted in a targeting. Could have been one or two more. But how do you evaluate his play overall? Yeah, re really tough, obviously, uh, for him to, to get banged around uh, the way that he did and, and <clears throat> continue to come back and and battle for his team. I, I was really uh, impressed with, with that fortitude. Uh, now we got to be a lot smarter for the rest of the season. Uh, you know, we're, we've talked about different ways to protect yourself uh, going down and, and all of that. So, uh, and, you know, I, I think the next 11 games, I, I would certainly hope we'll, we'll be able to protect a little bit better from a matchup standpoint. And, um, he'll feel a lot more comfortable too, and receivers will be more open. So, um, <clears throat> as as many hits as he took, and, and we wish they were a lot less. Um, there's a lot of blame to go around for those, and there, there's some. I mean, Cam's a weapon with his feet, and when you take off and run the football, uh, you know you are the guy carrying the football, and uh, when you do that, there's 11 guys that want to tackle you, and uh, so you're not going to avoid every hit, but. Um, I think he can be a lot smarter and he knows that. One of the guys who certainly stood out on offense was Omari Hayes, five catches for 74 yards. And I think going back to spring, we saw his potential to be a playmaker and we certainly saw that in game one. Really did our, our first spring here, uh, a guy that turned heads and then uh, was dealing with an injury pretty much all of, of last year and uh, was, was finally healthy this spring again and, and uh, showed uh, his value and then you know had a great camp and he's somebody you know like I, I, I've said numerous times you know I, I don't know that we're going to have a guy that catches 100 balls this year uh, like we did last year but uh, we're going to need guys at different moments to step up and when his number was called he certainly did. Well the way your defense played no complaints about that if you'd have told me before the game you'd hold Sparty to two touchdowns less than 300 yards of offense take the ball away three times, four of 15 on third or fourth down conversions, one for four in the red zone. As the Beatles would say, you take that eight days a week. Uh, yeah, you would. The, it, how we got there is, is what needs improvement. Um, and I, I have a ton of respect for Coach Smith and, and um, what they've got building there at, at Michigan State. But we had a lot of mistakes on defense that weren't exposed to um, whether – at quarterback not missing a guy or a hole that a running back doesn't hit that, that we had vacated. So although the numbers say we played pretty well and certainly um, well enough to, to win in my opinion, we still got a lot of work to do there and there is zero carryover uh, this, you know, uh, when you're playing a triple option team. Also defensively, what a play by Phillip Dunham in the red zone. You know, Michigan State looks like they're going in to make it a 23 to three game. He gets a pick, sets you up in great field position, and you score. And now it's a one-score game, but that was a big-time play. Huge, huge game. Uh, you know, we, we were 
certainly on the ropes at that point. We, we were scratching and clawing just to stay within earshot, if you will. And, uh, you know, they got down there to, to make it a however many score game. And, uh, you know, Phillip's a testament of you do exactly what you're coached uh, with fanatical effort and um, a, a love and a passion for your teammate, really good things happen to you when, when you do that. He had excellent technique. His eyes were in the right place. He broke on the ball. And so uh, Phillip's a tremendous athlete uh, and, and a tremendous playmaker. But that play right there was a testament of him being able to display that because of the great technique that he played with. Home opener Saturday, 12 noon in FAE Stadium against the Black Knights of Army. They open their season with a 42-7 win over FCS Lehigh. They're still running a lot of that triple option, 58 runs to eight passes, and that's a hard offense to defend, and you've got to practice against it, I think, going back to the spring. Yeah, we, we had periods all the way back into to spring practice. I remember from my, my time at Houston, Navy uh, was on our side of the conference when it had sides. Uh, and so we had to prepare for them every year as well. And, and uh, it's difficult and they're, they're doing a really good job. They lacked a, and admittedly, you know, kind of lacked a, a bit of offensive identity last year. And, and they have what appears to be wholesale kind of gone back to their roots and uh, really committed back to the, the triple option. So uh, we've got our hands full on that side of the ball and, and the, the thing when you play teams like this that doesn't get talked about enough is, you, you know, teams are only averaging 54 plays a game on offense playing against these guys because of the, the clock uh, issue that they, they have with uh, time of possession. And so uh, we've got to be on point on, on that side of the ball, too, to make sure that, that we make those possessions count. Veteran quarterback in Bryson Daly that makes that offense run. They're a hard team to get out of their comfort zone. <laughs> Well, it, 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 when, when you're used to, quote unquote, three yards in a cloud of dust, you know, that it doesn't phase them to be fourth and one, you know, all throughout a drive. And so we've prepped our, our, our defense, uh, you know, don't be surprised. You know, these are all four down drives, uh, as well as the uh, impetus on, on creating negative plays, too. We've, we've got to get them behind the sticks because when they stay, on schedule, it just, I've seen it. I've been on the wrong side of, you know, those eight and a half minute, 17 play drives that it's just, it's demoralizing. It is time, Tom Herman's Pop Culture Pop Quiz. We're gonna go movies this week. I'm gonna set the clock at 30 seconds, give you a couple seconds to think about to name as many Tom Hanks movies as you possibly can. So three, two, one, go. Splash, uh, Big, Money Pit, Saving Private Ryan, Philadelphia, um, why am I blind? Oh, Forrest Gump, um, uh, Sully. Oh, uh, he wasn't really in any franchises. Like, I'm trying to think one, two. Oh, Joe versus Volcano. Uh, Money Pit, did I say Money yes, Pit? Yes, you said Money Pit. Did I said Money Pit. Um, um, uh, Three seconds. Yeah. Bosom Buddies. <laughs> Bosom Buddies. Well, that was a TV I know, show, I but know. we'll give you credit. Did you say Castaway? Oh, my gosh. Apollo yeah. 13. Uh, we just watched that with our team. Big. I said. Oh, you said big. I said big. Check the tape. I did. Have a great home opener. Let's uh, get Army, and we'll talk to you next Thanks, week. Thanks, Frank. Coming up, get to know tight end Zeke Moore in this week's edition of Pads Off. That's straight ahead on Inside the Owls Burrow. At Baptist Health Orthopedic Care, you don't have to be a pro athlete to be treated like one. We use the latest techniques to give you an accurate diagnosis, along with surgical and non-surgical solutions, no matter who you are. Our team of specialists will do everything to help you perform at your best again. And with personalized recovery and rehabilitation plans, you'll be back to living your life to the fullest in no time. Welcome to Pro Level Orthopedic Care. Owls fans, get electrified with Will Smith Acura with the innovative styles of the premium all-electric SUV Acura ZDX. Enjoy impressive range, convenient charging, and a dynamic drive. And right now, eligible buyers can get up to $7,500 federal tax credit. Scan the QR code to explore the all-electric ZDX. Owls fans, get electrified with Will Smith Acura.
Do you need a per 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 personal injury lawyer? Call, 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 call. The FAU MBA Sport Management Program really stood out to me because it was in South Florida. It was an area that I knew, but not only that, it was top in the world, top in the nation, and it was in an area that is really very rich in sports, between professional sports, um, tournaments, just everything. There's professional athletes that live here. There's really all facets. It was an easy decision for me to make that call to go to FAU because I could get that mix of executive education and that focus in professional sports. Inside the Owls Borough is brought to you by Baptist Health, official sports medicine provider of Florida Atlantic Athletics. By Florida Atlantic's MBA in sport management program, number 10 in the world. By Corona Extra, find the fine life, La Vida Mas Fina. And by Phil Smith Acura, drive to win, driven by us. So here we have the touchdown in the third quarter to Jay Sean Platt. Does a really nice job of selling the crack block and then bursting to the corner. This is a play on fourth and one. You, you want to give your team a lot of options. And so uh, Cam's got the ability here to give the ball to the running back or keep the ball on, in essence, what becomes a naked bootleg. And uh, Jay Sean Platt does a great job selling the crack block, getting back out into the corner. Uh, for a nice pitch and catch touchdown. We're back on Inside the Owls Burrow, presented by Baptist Health. Last season as a true freshman, Zeke Moore grabbed the starting tight end job. Let's get to know Zeke a little bit more, if you will, in this week's edition of Pads Off. Pads Off is brought to you by Sage Dental. We want to love your smile. With us this week on Pads Off, even though he does have his pads on, is tight end Zeke Moore from Roswell, Georgia. All right, growing up in Georgia, did you have a favorite NFL player or team? Yes, sir, uh, the Falcons. Uh, I'm very big fan, but also it's always disappointing being a Falcons fan, so. Uh, but favorite player, probably Kyle Juszczyk growing up. Just really cool H-back in the NFL for a long time. It was a really cool life but Falcons fan at heart. Let's get to know Zeke away from the field. Which unconventional animal do you wish you had as a pet? Uh, definitely a monkey. I think it'd be cool. I've always wanted one since I was like four. You can only have one app on your phone. Which one are you keeping? Definitely uh, my camera app. I love to take pictures. I don't always post everything, but like I love taking pictures, always have. Of what, nature? A lot of nature and then just like funny stuff going on. Like I'll capture the moment. Like I live in the moment, but I, I'm also gonna take a video. If you could go on vacation anywhere in the world, where would you go? Um, there's a bunch of different places, but me and my brother uh, want to travel out west and just camp along the way in a van. So that's the goal in a couple of years. This question I love, which teammate would make the best reality show contestant and what type of show would it be? Uh, Wyatt Sullivan and he'd be on Love Island. Oh, okay. I think he would do great on there. Which band would you want to play at your wedding? Uh, Mountain Joy, it's an indie band. Uh, my family's been to the concert a bunch, so I just, I really like their music. If aliens landed on Earth tomorrow and offered to take you back home with them, would you go? It depends on how long. I love Earth, so I want to return but I would go if it's just a vacation, because that's a big flex. Like, you know, I went to a different planet, like you can't beat that. What breed of dog would you be? Probably a golden retriever. Yeah, I think they have the happiest lifestyle and everyone loves them. Well, you've got the blonde hair, so it wouldn't be much of a leap. <laughs> yeah. If you could have a theme song played when you entered a room, what would the song be? Pump it up, for sure. If you could be a character in a video game, which game would you choose to be in? Minecraft. Minecraft, why is that? It'd just be cool to live that lifestyle. You can kind of do whatever. You're always like making something and surviving. It's like virtual camping. If you had the choice of time travel, would you go back to the past or into the future? I think into the future, just because I think I could change how I live a lot and then also like make a lot of money. I would just buy one stock and then do whatever I want with my life. 
All right, final question for Zeke Moore. Are you a picky eater or are you open to trying new things? Uh, my parents have raised me to eat anything, uh, be very open-minded. However, now, like being a college athlete, I have to be a picky eater in terms of like health benefits. So I wish I could go back and just be a kid again, eat whatever I want, but it's not really a reality anymore, but it's all good. Is there an exotic food that you've tried? Something kind of way off the, the um, menu? Lychees, there's like two different kinds. They're really good. You, you peel them and eat them. I, I love them. I get them in New York City a lot. It just, they're so refreshing. Zeke, thanks for taking the pads off and being Thank with you. us. Thank you. Coming up, after four years on campus, he's no longer a walk-on. Makai Sautel earns his football scholarship. That's coming your way when Inside the Owlsboro returns. Winning in Paradise is back in action this fall. Head coach Tom Herman leads the revamped Owls roster into the 2024 season with visits from Army, FIU, and USF on the schedule. The band, the cheerleaders, the tailgates, the action, it's all here. Don't miss out on big time college football fun in Boca Raton. The action continues with men's soccer, women's soccer, and volleyball all embarking on new seasons. All soccer and volleyball games are free to attend. Support Boca Raton's hometown team this year. Go Owls! You're watching Inside the Owls Borough, presented by Baptist Health. The dream of every walk-on player in college football is to someday earn a scholarship. As the Owls began game week preparation for Michigan State, that dream became a reality for linebacker Makai Sautel. Behind the Scenes is brought to you by Baptist Health, official sports medicine provider of Florida Atlantic Athletics. Hey, you work at Subway, don't you? Okay. Sorry, dude. No shot. Yeah! <laughs> you got scholarship! You got scholarship! Shock. <laughs> uh, I was just, it was just shock, really. I mean, I saw the post, I know I read it, and I kind of like froze up. It was just something that like, I didn't think was real for a second. Um, and I had to like, I don't really know how to describe it. It was just a lot of emotions flowed at once, and I couldn't really express anything. I was just kind of just taken aback and just like shocked. You've worked at Subway during your time here to, to help meet expenses. What does this scholarship do for you financially? Uh, it's definitely a relief. Um, I know that throughout the whole course of my career here, I've had to leave practice and go work uh, 25, 30, sometimes 40 hour weeks um, on top of practice and school and everything. The scholarship just is a way for me to relax a little bit now and focus more on you know finishing out my uh, my academics and athletics here. Papa, congrats, kid. That's not what I did. That's not what I did. They uh, they put me on full scholarship today. Don't lie to me, son. Nah. Don't lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to me. Is it true? It, it was great. I mean, it was a dream come true, at least for me, you know, and obviously for him. Uh, we, it's just something we had talked about and worked on ever, for, for years now, ever since I got to FAU as, as a walk-on. It was just, you know, that moment that, you know, there's always an opportunity to, to earn a scholarship. Um, it might not come, you know, stuff happens, but, you know, if you keep working hard enough and you um, do your job, coaches will notice you. and. And it's something that doesn't happen to everybody, but to those that it happens to, it's definitely worth it. When I got down there, he was eating a Subway sandwich. And then uh, I was, I was, I saw the sandwich, I was confused. And then uh, he took a bite out of it. He was showing, he was talking to me and he spit it out. And uh, he was like, uh, he goes, this, this sandwich uh, uh, tastes weird. And he opened it up. And then so I was a post a note that said, yeah, I'm on full scholarship. So you've already been here four years as a walk-on. Did you ever give up hope that a day like that would come? Um, there were definitely times where it was just, it was tough to keep going. Um, just through, through everything, um, just different injuries and stuff along the way, just, you know, definitely coaching changes and, you know, throughout the, throughout the course of, of my career here. Um, there's definitely times where I felt like, you know, it might not happen, but I'm like, as long as I'm healthy enough to play, there's always still, still a shot. Best thing that happened today. So I'm really grateful. Coming up, it's Military Appreciation Day on Saturday, and this OWL grad assistant knows firsthand what it's like to serve the country. 
That's next when Inside the Owls Borough returns. At Sage Dental, you'll experience a modern, family-friendly approach to dentistry. From pediatric dentistry and orthodontics to cleanings and oral surgery, we've got the latest technology to provide your family the best dental care all in one place. And for a limited time, get a free new patient exam and x-rays, plus a free ProClean Sonic toothbrush at your first hygiene visit. Book your appointment today at MySageDental.com. Sage Dental. Open up and say, awesome. To win at this game, you have to put in the work, know the game plan, and execute. At Duffy's, our game is always on. La cerveza más fina. To truly embrace the fine life, you must learn to let go. Only then will you find that even if you leave the beach, it never leaves you. Bienvenidos a la vida más fina. The Sport MBA program has a really great curriculum designed to help prepare students for real world application. The faculty at FAU really took the time to get to know me, help me get my foot in the door, and network with the right people. Really prepared me for all the challenges of the workplace, whether it's time management, uh, provided me with the educational background, most importantly, it gave me real life practical experience. The program offers you lots of opportunities to experience the fast paced world of South Florida sports. Inside the Owls Borough is brought to you by Baptist Health, official sports medicine provider of Florida Atlantic Athletics. By Sage Dental, we want to love your smile. And by Shiner Law Group, accident and injury lawyers. I was fortunate enough early in my career to coach at West Point, the United States Military Academy for 13 years and then went on to the Air Force Academy out in Colorado Springs for three seasons. And so those 16 years I spent at the military gave me great appreciation for the men and women, the soldiers, the airmen, the people in our military that protect this country, what they do, what they sacrifice. So I just want to say thank you to all of you past and present. We appreciate what you do to protect our country and protect our freedoms and the values that we have in America. Thank you very much. That message in honor of Military Appreciation Day coming up Saturday against Army. Also, congratulations to Coach Warner, who last Saturday coached his 500th game in college football. This is Inside the Owls Borough, presented by Baptist Health. Several Owl players have family connections in the various branches of the military, but one Owl staff member who grew up in South Carolina wore the uniform of the U.S. Army for five years. <laughs> Extension, August. I ended up going to the Citadel. I wanted to, to test myself. I wanted to give it a go and see if I could do it uh, just for the sake of it. But I knew that the military was not going to be the path for me. I was just going to do the Citadel and then leave and go into the private sector. And then when I was there, my roommate, uh, he was full hua, was huge army guy, convinced me to go out um, for PT one morning and I joined it and never looked back. And from there, they offered me a scholarship, and then the rest is history. I was a second lieutenant when I graduated, commissioned as a second lieutenant. Uh, five years active duty. I was an infantry officer, so the infantry is the ground fighting force uh, of the United States military that's tasked with closing and destroying the enemy. Um, and so in that time, when you're an officer, you're tasked with leading either platoons or in my case uh, as a captain a company. So during my time uh, stationed at Fort Benning while I was there I did airborne and ranger training uh, concurrently. Uh, you, you asked what I enjoyed about it, not much. <laughs> so, but uh, the, the people that you meet, the relationships that you make, and then uh, finding out as much as you can about yourself in that time, you don't really appreciate it while you're there. Uh, and it's not until much later that you figure out the things that you're capable of and you get to look back and be like, oh wow, well, you know, okay, I, I can do this, now what else can I do? It really wasn't until I got here 
that I was having a conversation with our strength coach, Coach Joey, and he was talking about the deep end, right? We, we like to throw that term around here where the deep end is you're pushing yourself past that point of comfort, you're pushing yourself past that point of safety and what you know. What do you find on the other side when you're in the deep end um, and are you able to survive there? And if you can and if once you figure out that you're able to, uh, really the sky's the limit and nothing can stop you. And so sharing those experiences with other soldiers uh, and getting to find that out about myself was a blessing in disguise and what I most enjoyed about those. But those men and women that continue to stand beside the values of the United States of America, that continue to stand up against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and fight and preserve our freedoms, uh, they will always have my respect, they will always have my undying gratitude, and of course, to the men and women of the 25th Infantry Division, strike hard. A big thank you to Kyle Brady and all service members past or present. That's our show for this week. Thanks for watching. I'm Frank Forth. We'll see you next week on Inside the Owls Borough. This has been a presentation of Playfly. At Baptist Health Orthopedic Care, you don't have to be a pro athlete to be treated like one. We use the latest techniques to give you an accurate diagnosis, along with surgical and non-surgical solutions, no matter who you are. Our team of specialists will do everything to help you perform at your best again. And with personalized recovery and rehabilitation plans, you'll be back to living your life to the fullest in no time. Welcome to Pro Level Orthopedic Care. Do you need a per 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 personal injury lawyer? Call, call, call. If you're tired of the same old boring cars, at Phil Smith Kia, we've got a car for every personality. Need a compact car to weave through traffic like a ninja? We've got it. Want an EV9 that's more spacious than your grandma's attic? We've got it. We'll work with you to find a deal that won't leave your wallet feeling like it's been on a roller coaster ride. Phil Smith Kia, home of the Maximus deal. Right, Maximus? Right. Phil Smith Kia, right here in Lighthouse Point. At Sage Dental, you'll experience a modern, family-friendly approach to dentistry. From pediatric dentistry and orthodontics to cleanings and oral surgery, we've got the latest technology to provide your family the best dental care all in one place. And for a limited time, get a free new patient exam and x-rays, plus a free ProClean Sonic toothbrush at your first hygiene visit. Book your appointment today at mysagedental.com. Sage Dental. Open up and say, awesome.